Welcome everyone. We are excited to show you Fort DeSoto in Florida. Right now we're turning into the campground. It's a really nice space. They have about 160 sites. Half of them are for tent and small trailers and then the other half are for larger RVs. Yeah, there's a, quite a few pull-throughs that were really nice. And if you didn't want, don't want to pull through, you can back in and there's they're really nice when you back in you got the bay and the ocean right there on you and it's just great views there's a few of them that have a little vegetation in behind them but the rest of them is just clear you can put your chairs out there and have a great time yeah so here we're turning to the right to go to the larger sites which if we visited this campground those would be the kind of sites that we need um, one a little bit larger if we would have gone to the left back there, that went to the tent sites and the smaller sites. Right. On the right here is where the, uh, the ones that are on the bay and the ocean are. And uh, it's a big loop, like a little peninsula that you go around. And you can see that on the left will be the pull-throughs that will go from one side of the road to where it curves around to the other side. So it's really easy if you're going to pull a fifth wheel to get in and out or if you've got a class A to get in and out. If you got something like a B or C class backing in, it's going to be fine, and and you'll just have a great time. And uh, now here we're going into the fort. Now you have to pay to get into the fort. I believe it's five dollars. Yep. But now we found out one thing: if you are handicapped, you have a handicap placard, you don't have to pay to get in. So make sure you remember that if you've got your placard with you, just show it to them, and they let you go in. So here we're going up to. Uh, the flag, they have a beautiful flag here on the pole, very nice. Uh, one thing about this place that I tell you it is handicap ready. It, it is enabled for handicap. There's like 1.2 million physically handicapped people in Florida, a little over right now. So they design these parks so that if you're in a wheelchair or a rollator or something that you need assistance to get around it's very easy to do now you can't do the steps or anything but they do have ramps and things to get you around and there is a nice trail here too for handicap they also rent the uh, handicap beach chairs with the big tires that you can go on the beach here with but it's first come first serve to get those so now you're seeing Don there with the uh, cannon. He took several wonderful still photos uh, while we were out at Fort DeSoto, but here we are looking at uh, the fort and uh, getting a view not only of the, the fort itself, but also the um, mature trees. There are some guns that are still on the site that are displayed, and I think Don's going to share a little bit about that. Yeah, right here is a just an area that they used for uh, marching to and getting to and uh, here you'll see one of the guns out front here now these are the the six inch guns here that were used to to protect the fort and protect the bay is what they were there for especially during the Spanish American War during that time that these guns were placed here now the reason this is built was for protection of the the uh, Tampa Bay and the shipping in that area so, and a lot of people don't know this, but in the mid-1800s, it was Colonel Robert E. Lee that came down to this area here and looked about, he's the one that designed the fort and put the gun placements in where they need to be. Now that one gun you've seen there, of course there's a couple of those, they're really nice and they, you can climb on them, do anything, you know, they don't move or anything, but it's, it's good for the kids, there's all kind of stuff to do here. Now, Right here, we've gone into one of the uh, generator bays that, that produced all the energy and the electricity for the fort because there were 29 buildings on the fort when it was in full, everything going on, and everything from the captain's quarters all the way down to enlisted quarters. There were a mess hall. It was just like a small, nice little post. I would have loved to have been stationed at something like this especially during the winter, but summer it might get a little hot. Now here we're going into the main mortar bay. They, there were four original mortar guns in here, 
at one time you can see that there's two left that's for your viewing and uh, those are took, 12 inch these are the 12 inch these are the 12 inch mortars the uh, <clears throat> the and other ones that were out there were the 1890 model 6 inch guns uh, I believe they're Armstrong's and, and these are just the 12 inch mortars and the reason they're pointing so high up is that they would lob the mortar over the wall and into the bay onto the ship and they were very very accurate uh, they would pull uh, they would have ships that pulled targets behind them and these things would just blow the targets out of the water here I'm trying to get everything to turn but you know how that is it doesn't work anymore and uh, and from our from our research uh, this is the only location where these type of types of guns are found in the United States here I'm checking for the inspection of the barrel. It's a 12 inch, so as you can see, I, my head will fit in there. I don't do not have that big a head, but it does fit in there. So it, it's really nice to, to go in there and check it out. You know, being you know, that was in the military. I like these kind of things, and I love, I'm a history buff too. There's the different range. You know, the the card as we call them, the range cards, for the azimuth and uh, the elevation of the gun. Here's the data centers that you would go check in and they would tell you if you're hitting the target or not and how good you were doing. That's usually with the officers and everything and your enlisted headquarters, things like that would be in there. Uh, now if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, but I'm just trying to give you an overview of this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I, I wasn't born back then so I, I don't know everything. And, and there's a duplicate on both sides. This is one side of the battery and the other side is a duplicate. And they have pictures in here of all the different buildings on when they were where they were built, located. Now the buildings are all torn down now, but the the foundations are still there, and you can still walk around that trail and see them. But here they've got pictures of them when they were in, in use before they tore them down. So here we're walking down. Um, down the area here as Don said there's duplicates of those uh, mortar areas and the generator rooms and uh, there was a room here I think Don wanted to get behind that uh, those bars but I didn't let him so uh, we're just walking through taking a look at the uh, the structure um, you can see some places where that repairs have been made over the years and now we're coming out uh, we're walking uh, toward the uh, the gift shop area a snack bar and gift shop they also had a place for rentals you could rent bikes trikes uh, dog baskets it was very nice and here is the um, the, the bay coming in or the, or the Gulf of Mexico coming in and so uh, we're seeing some beauty here one thing about the the area the birds of course are wonderful you'll see some sandpipers uh, reddish egrets storks, osprey, uh, just all kind of birds live here year-round uh, for good reason. The The temperature is fairly constant. The owls, they, they have eagles, uh, all times the seasonal birds, but a lot of them just stay here, like you said, year-round because of the weather's so warm. So if you're a birder or you want bird photography, this is a great place to come. Make sure you bring a lens that you can uh, extend out there and, and get some great pictures. But now I got some great pictures of uh, some brown pelicans. I'm not a birder, but my wife is. My favorite brown pelican. Right, that's her fave. So I got a few pictures of those. I could try to get a couple of pictures of the other ones that didn't really come out. I should have had my other lens on, uh, something I could stand out there and get them with. Um, here's just uh, some cement from the old fort that was left. Now, you notice the beach. The beach is nice. It's not as nice as Clearwater Beach but it's a great place to come there's a lot of shells but they're small and uh, we took the path all the way around now I will tell you that the sidewalks are very good uh, if you have a handicapped beach chair it's very nice down there there are nice bicycling trails all through this area and if you camp and you want to bicycle or walk into the park they don't charge you anything so remember that when you come from the camping areas right outside the gate so when you come through, it doesn't cost anything if you're walking or bicycling. Now here we're on the, the thousand foot pier. They have two piers here, a thousand foot and a 500 foot. Uh, both of them are nice. Uh, 
You can take your kids out there. They're they're in in good condition. There's no repairs that I've seen that need to be done. You know, they're very safe. Uh, there are a lot of birds out there, and a lot of times they'll be on one side of the the, the pier, and you can walk right by them and get some good pictures and uh, enjoy it. They're they're there. They say to relax. So they don't want you to go up and stir the birds or get too close to them because this is the time of year that they relax. Uh, they're, they're there to nurse and nurse themselves and to get ready, you know, in the spring for their for the young ones to come and uh, for, so they'll be nesting. So just to remember that here, we just took some pictures of some, you know, different boats that come by the sailboats. I really like sailboats. Never been on one. I really like them for some reason. But and. Uh, Here's, of course, Emily. The brown pelican. And Don took these photos. They're really beautiful. Uh, he took those with a Canon Rebel T6i. This one's on top. Some of these, I, I, I walked up on top of the fort, which you can get there. And so as we conclude, we would just like to thank you all for being a part of this with us. And we would like for you to subscribe to our channel and also uh, share this with others. We're just getting started, so you'll have to forgive us. Uh, the videos will improve over time, and uh, we really thank you and just pray blessings upon you. And remember to give us a like and subscribe. We're just starting, but hey, we're gonna move from uh, Tampa in about two and a half weeks, and we're headed north, and then we're heading west. So we're gonna try to keep you informed and give you pictures all the way across America. All right, God bless.